sucks getting older. Why can't I stand up straight? Ugh. To the retirement home I go. Hey, what's up amigos? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber! And here we go again. We are back with another amazing, stupendous, tremendous, groundbreaking, earth-shattering, rising from the grave action figure review starring Zelton. I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly. If I am wrong, please correct me in the comments. And of course, you guys see right here, he is from the Conan, Conan, Conan. He's from the Conan series. Series 2, The Hour of the Dragon. Zoltan, 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 the Dead. And uh, as you can see, he's still wrapped up in this beautiful plastic right here. He is from Spawn.com, McFarlane Toys. And you're kind of saying to yourself, friendly neighborhood YouTuber, why are you going to remove this figure from the package? It is in somewhat pristine condition. It is, it is somewhat of a rare figure, but... I bought it for cheap. Now, the figures that really go for a lot of money is the Conan figures, duh. Uh, they go for a lot of money, man. Um, the side figures are kind of like the side figures. They're not that much. You know, so, say, I'll give you a prime example. For those who collect Marvel Legends, you know, the Marvel Legend Toy Biz Builder figures are worth a lot of money. The Marvel Legends that are coming out now are kind of like this guy right here. They're not worth much. They're on the open market. You can get them for cheap. And that's the same thing with this figure. I got him for cheap. Even though he's an older figure, he is from the Conan series. He is all the way from 2004. But it doesn't mean anything. This is an unboxing channel, and you guys know that I unbox figures. So... I'm going to need some trusty, heavy-duty scissors right here to cut this guy open. That's what I do. I unbox figures, even though, even if they are vintage figures. Now, let's cut this open. Let's not try to damage uh, this in here, the, because I'm pretty sure this is a booklet, being that it's Spawn. You know, they always advertise um, their new series. If you guys are a, a, a box collector, uh, package collector, and you don't take the figures out, out the box, that's good for you too, man. Because there are some figures that I own that I'm not going to ever review, that I'm not ever going to take out the box. Um, just simply because <laughs> I just want to leave them in the box. So I, I, I kind of I understand where you guys are coming from. But life is short. You know, you gotta take out, you gotta take out the figures and play with them, man. You know, otherwise you don't really know what you get. So here is Conan, the Hour of the Dragon. And speaking of rare figures, this figure is wow, man. If you can, if you guys have this figure, then you're pretty, pretty awesome, man. Cause this, he right now runs for around five, six hundred bucks, man. These Conan um, figures are freaking. Um, expensive as hell, man. So here is McFarlane, of course, advertising Spawn. Um, this is the Art of Spawn. This is when the Art of Spawn first came out. Um, I haven't reviewed any of these Art of Spawn figures. That's crazy. <laughs> out, of all, out of all the Spawn figures that I've reviewed, I, uh, I don't, I haven't reviewed any of these Spawn figures, man. Uh, this one right here, I do have the L Simmons, but I don't have the Spawn. Um, so, yeah. Okay, guys. Let's look at the figure itself. Let's get to the reviewing. I'm sure you guys are anxious to see Zaltan, the undead. Okay. 
look at how magnificent he looks. How many twisty ties does this guy have? Eh, he's not too shabby. Okay, so let's take him out. So he just has a couple of twisty ties, and then we can free him. Free him from his plastic tomb. Oh, how'd you guys like that? Oh, wait. No, he's got three of them. He's so sneaky. Well, oh, shoot. Here is his staff. Here is his base. There is his concrete base. And he just has one little twisty tie at the arm. That would be funny if I ripped him off the package and his arm ripped off. <laughs> it has happened before. Okay, so let's free Zaltan. Let's free him. <laughs> let's free him. <laughs> Speaking of, I think I I think I jinxed myself by saying that. Oh, let's rip him out the package and his arm will rip off. Yeah, and you got to be careful, too, because these arms are very, very fragile. Oh, and look at that. See? He's got one more boot tied up. I would have ripped him out the package, and his foot would have came flying off, man. Okay. I think I got him. I think I'm... Oh, wait. Look at that. He's got a string attached with a booklet. Wow. Wow. All this for this skinny little mofo right here well McFarlane once again delivers and as you can see he is a statue because he's look he has a peg in his foot so that means he goes on to the base another articulated statue guys which I'm not mad I this is what I expect from McFarlane and well look at that he has a peg cover, dude. <laughs> I was going to try to peg it in with the peg cover on there. He's got a steel peg. Okay, let's, now let's try to peg this in. And he's got another peg right here for his foot. That pegs in here, but it's not going to reach. There's no way it's going to reach. But it is bendable. Okay. Okay, so here is Zeltan. Zeltan. This is bendable. This is right here. This is bendable, which they that was a good idea that they made it bendable. And pegging his foot into the base right here. Hopefully it will stay. Okay, so let's go in for the detail, being that this guy is not going to have much articulation. So you saw the peg right there, it pegs into the base, so you can't get him to stand unless you have him on the base itself, which kind of sucks. If you wanted to, you could, you could probably remove that peg if you wanted to. Don't pay no attention to my dry hands. Those are hands of a working man. <laughs> and the cold air, too, has a lot to do with it. Very nice detail overall. McFarlane once again delivers on the detail. I love the face. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. I wonder if it has a story to this guy. And it looks like this can move downward. There you go. If you don't want that displayed, which I don't know why you would not want to. Nice, man. Rubber necklace. There are a lot of rubber parts on him. He's mostly plastic resin, maybe, because he has that resin smell. He's got a rubber booklet right here, with some, which I'm guessing has a lot of ancient chat uh, spells and, and chants to try to bring Zoltan back to life. There's his foot, his skeleton. If, like I said, you don't want that down, you can put that down. Pretty, pretty nice, man. 
Now, the only articulation that this guy has, let's move this back up because I like it like that, is his arms move up and down, and he does have a waist swivel. That's the only articulation this guy has. But overall, very, very nicely detailed. So the only accessory that he comes with is a staff, which you can plug in to this right here to make it longer. Get your mind out the gutter. And you can have it in his arm like so. Or in his arm, in his hand like so. Like that. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby at all. Okay, let's go ahead and measure this guy. He, he's not standing up straight, but we'll measure him and then we're going to do some comparisons. Okay, so Zeltan, Zoltan stands at all the way up to the back piece right there, about 7 inches. All the way up to his head, about s almost a little bit over 6.5 inches. So he doesn't really stand up straight. So let's compare him with some other figures that I had uh, reviewed uh, the day before my last review of God of War. And look how nicely they go together, man. Zoltan, Zoltan and Kratos... They are deadliest of enemies. And they kind of have a similar color theme going on, too. They have, like, the burgundy red and the gold and the copper feel to them. So, yeah, they actually go pretty well together, man. You can put them together if you want to. They have a very, very similar vibe going on, man. So there was Kratos. Another figure that I brought out during my Kratos re review was uh, Zeus. And man, they just go well together. The Conan series, McFarlane, goes well with the McFarlane Curse of the Spawn or Dark Ages. And same thing with God of War, man. They all go very, very similar. Uh, they're, they're all very, very similar and they all go very, very nicely together. And the last review I'll give you guys is of Medusa. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't even think this is a, a Conan figure. I mean, you can put him with anything, and he'll go nicely uh, with anything, man. Like I said, with with anything. If you have a lot of medieval demon figures, he'll go nicely um, in your collection. Okay, guys, let me give you my rating um, of this figure. I'm just going to go... It's an articulated statue, so... He, he is just a statue. I'm not basing this rating on articulation because it is McFarlane. But on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to give this guy a solid 8. I think he's definitely worth a solid 8. Uh, I'm not counting, like I said, the artic uh, articulation. This is an older figure. It's a McFarlane figure. It is a statue. So I'm basing that rating on a statue uh, rating. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth a pickup. I got him for a good deal, guys. If you can find him for a good deal, you could say the price tag right there was twelve ninety nine. I paid, I didn't pay twelve ninety nine. I actually paid a little bit less than twelve ninety nine. Believe it or not, for this figure. Okay, guys, let me know what you think of Zoltan. Do you guys like him? If you do, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome, creepy reviews like this. And I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next review. <laughs>